Oh, come on, we're car people. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you guys doing today? I'm, I can't tell you how humbled I am to be here today to talk about social media and reputation management. But before I tell you where I, you know, where I am now, I think it's important that I explain to you where I was before. Because thanks to people like yourselves and conferences like this, I think all the dealers in the group can agree that it's really changed and we've really evolved in our thinking of what social media is. So I want to take you through our story, and uh, our story may be the same as some of yours, may be very different than uh, other dealers, but it's what we did, what we found out, and where we are and where we're going to go with social media to really take it from our store to the next level. So I want to start with our store, you know, so you can get a little perspective of Rick Hayes Honda. We have a very, very tiny store in uh, Davie, Florida. And uh, in order to understand it, it looks like every other Honda store, with the exception that we have about 200,000 square feet of real estate to cover. We have car washes. We have an, a discount gas station. We have a barber salon. You can get a tag. You can get married. And if you're lucky, you can even buy a car in case. <laughs> now, with that, we have some great people, and we don't take that lightly at all. We have over 400 families that I'm personally responsible for, and it's an honor to be able to lead them in trying to achieve our goals on a regular basis. And our goals are, are lofty ones like everybody else. You know, everybody wants to be number one. And we started by wanting to be number one in the Southeast. And we worked very hard at it. We hit it every day, seven days a week, and we achieved that goal. And we said, well, what's next? What's next for Ray Case? Well, there was only one thing that could be next, and that was to be number one in the country. We wanted to be the inspiration for every dealer in the country on what they want to achieve in every area in automotive. And that's a big task. And it takes a lot of work to be able to do it. And you have to be a little humble and a little open-minded to even have a chance at achieving those goals. So the first thing we did is we had to discover who we were. You know, it's very easy to you know, say you want to be number one, but to really look back at yourself and really kick yourself apart, you need to realize that there's no magic pill to being number one, as we were talking about Paul. There's no magic pill. I wish there was. I'd be taking three of them daily. What we had to do was we had to tear apart every single area. And no, there was nobody, nobody was exempt, including myself. We looked at every department, every, com every manager, every compensation plan, every process, and every vendor. We wanted to make sure that everyone that we associated with, from our people to, to our vendors, that they were all on the same page and the same mission. And that was to deliver an outstanding customer experience. And it wasn't easy. But what we came across was we realized that by tearing down the walls, we could deliver a simplified message. 